We are almost halfway through 2023, and so far there have been a ton of great games to come out on Steam. And with the eight titles that we're covering today, June continues this trend. As always, all links can be found for free on my Patreon, because YouTube hates fun. First up is Paradise Lust. I first reviewed this comedic survival adventure last year, and the game has just left early access. This is basically Gilligan's Island crossed with the Miss Universe pageant, and I'm really excited to finally finish playing it. Look forward to my review later this month. Paradise Lust is available for PC, Mac, SteamOS, and Linux on Steam, with Android versions available on itch.io and their Patreon. Next up is Horos, Monster Slayer, and Lover of Many. I recently reviewed this pulp fantasy adventure from Lesson of Passion, and it was actually pretty decent. The only problem is that it is really short. But if you do enjoy campy 80s sword and sorcery movies, then absolutely give it a shot. Horos, Monster Slayer, and Lover of Many is available for PC, Mac, SteamOS, and Linux on Steam. I get a lot of pushback about the number of visual novels that I cover. It's just that most video games with adult content are visual novels. But I am committed to covering all types of games. Well, all types of games that YouTube allows. Like our next title, The Kingdom of the End and The Witch of the Beginning. This is a 3D action RPG that came out on DL site last year. This game combines a number of genres and tropes, and for better or worse, is more than just another cookie cutter fantasy RPG. The Kingdom of the End and The Witch of the Beginning is available for PC on Steam. Speaking of visual novels, MILFs of Sunville Season 1 has moved out of early access into a full release. Since this College Harems debut on Steam back in November, it has had solid reviews and I expect it to do well on 2023's year-end list. MILFs of Sunville Season 1 is available for PC and Mac on Steam and their Patreon. I also expect our next title, NTRaholic, to do very well this year, as it did very well on DL site when it released in January. This is another notorious style game where you seduce a newly wed wife. Um, spoilers. NTRaholic is available for PC on Steam. Next up we have the fairy tale corruption parody, Once Upon a Time. In development since 2019 on Patreon, this is the first chapter of the game. Serial releases of chapters or seasons seems to be the standard now with Steam, but this is a solid experience if you want to explore totally not Disney stories and characters. Once Upon a Time is available for PC on Steam and for PC, Mac, and Android on their Patreon. Our next game is the deck building isekai RPG, Take Me to the Dungeon. Wow, that might be one of the most Japanese sentences that you can say in English. Don't get me wrong, I'm definitely going to play this as it totally appeals to my little wee part. Take Me to the Dungeon is available for PC on Steam. And finally, we have the latest demo for Wildlife. I am really excited for this upcoming open world RPG. The first demo back in November was awesome, but it was very linear. This new demo is all about allowing us to explore the sandbox experience. Check out my full review later this week. Wildlife is available for PC on Steam and their Patreon. There you have it. These eight titles represent so many different genres and flavors, and I hope that you can at least find one of them to enjoy. Let me know which one you're most looking forward to. I'm really excited to see what the second half of 2023 has in store for all of us. Until next time, no shaming, just gaming. Thanks to all this month's support on Patreon. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you all. 